everybody. How did I get here? I, there's no buildings. There's nothing. I'm all alone. There's just cars driving by. What is this place? Aha, aha. You thought I was in the middle of nowhere, eh? I am actually. I am in the middle of nowhere. But I've actually been living here for a pretty long time. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Palm Tree. Shut the f up. This is Palm Tree Backpackers. Come on in. So let's set the scene. Imagine 4 30 a.m., a palm tree. I am having breakfast right before heading to work. In reality, it is 9 30 a.m. It's a Sunday and I have no work. And this is not full with anything. It's just a prop. I just wanted an excuse to present you guys my home. This is Palm Tree, paradise on earth. So come along, let's walk. Oh, I forgot, I can't go anywhere. All right, so let's pretend that I didn't just take off my sunglasses and let's head to the first room in the hostel. So this is kind of the reception and the office. And I like to think of it as our private library as well. This is where everyone comes to learn. So that is the reception itself. It's closed. That's why we are recording now. And then these are the tables. People are learning languages here. They're reading here. And uh, let's just pretend to randomly talk to some random people around here. Hey, you, random person. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about, well, first of all, mm -hmm. Can you tell us your name for the audience? Uh, my name is Suri. Suri? Yeah. So what's your favorite thing about Australia? Uh, uh, it's so peaceful. Mm. Mm, peaceful and nice sky and nice weather and not get stressed. What do you feel about palm tree? Oh, uh, I, uh, I feel so good. I spend a lot of happy time. Yeah, yeah I met my friends and boyfriend and I... You met your boyfriend in Palm Tree? Yeah! Really? Over there! Oh, <laughs> you met here! <laughs> I thought you guys came together. No, 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 oh, no. Wow. I met him in here. Nice. So. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Ah, thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we go on to the next person. So here we have... The lucky boyfriend, eh? <laughs> There's a lot of Koreans here, right? Yeah, it's too too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> and uh, what are you doing now at the moment? I'm just studying. Studying? Yeah. Nice. You're learning programming? Yeah. Nice. Just speaking on. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so lastly we're going to show you the dining room. As the name suggests, this is the place where we all eat. Got a couple of people eating here. There are all the freezers. It's a common area. It does remind me a lot of school, like high school. I think it looks pretty similar. But then most importantly, absolutely most importantly, we have the PlayStation 4 over there with a bunch of games. Um, this is the best part of the hostel by far. We have this, this, this. This, 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 and where's my favorite game? This, this, and this. Wow. Hello, Yukina. Hey. So you are a veteran of this hostel, right? Yeah. So you've been here a long time. Nice. Two ha months and a half, I think. Two months and a half? Yeah. So, uh, can you tell the audience just uh, where you're from, a little bit about yourself, yeah. how long you've been in Australia, yeah. and just your, your life's history, <laughs> as short as you can do? Okay. Uh, I'm Yukina, I'm from Japan. When I was in Japan, I used to be a teacher at junior high school students. I taught English for junior high school students, but I don't have confidence to speak English, so that's why I came to Australia. I came to Australia in April. Then I went to the language school for two months in Sydney and then the, I come I came here to work at farm the finally I collect 13 <laughs> pay trips now
now, so I'm gonna go back to Sydney after two weeks later. <sighs> and then the after go back to Sydney, I wanna I wanna be a teacher, and then I wanna teach Japanese culture or Japanese to Australian students. That's nice. that, yeah. This is my dream. That's a good plan. <laughs> That's a really good plan. Uh, just to clarify, what Yugina is talking about is a visa extension of a whole year that you can only get by working three months in the orchard. So that's why most people end up here. We just end up working in the orchard so that we can get a one year visa extension. Let's continue with the interview. So yeah, so what was your first impression when you arrived at Palm Tree? What, what did you think of the place? That's my first time to stay at backpackers and hostels. Oh, really? Yeah, so I worry about the, I can't share with any other people, the bathroom, room, kitchens yeah. everything so but now it's very comfortable for me it's really it, yeah I'm happy yeah oh. you got used to it <laughs> that's another very normal <laughs> yeah <laughs> orangey <laughs> Though I like to call him chunky <laughs> what's your favorite part about palm tree it's easy to make friends mm. here and then uh, we can exchange our Instagram yeah. account so we can keep in touch with after living here. Even if I live here, I can keep in touch with you, you, yeah, yeah everyone. I'm gonna go back to city, but someone go to Melbourne, mm. Brisbane, Paris, every, yeah. everywhere, so I can, I can see them. And then I can go there to see them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like good. a good uh, social club. It's like the, a good first place to go yeah. and meet everyone. Yeah. And then you keep those friendships for the rest of your travels. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we'll stop it there. That was really good. Thank you very much for, you. for the interview. <laughs>is the room this is obviously my favorite part of the hostel because we are able to live alone it's just two people per room and we have our own private toilet which is not a very normal thing in hostel life we usually share it with four maybe sometimes it's six people per room and there's one common toilet for everyone but anyways here we are so uh, it's not we were supposed to make a little bit of order but we didn't make much order but yeah we got some shelves there uh, I don't know what you say like a cork Thing or whatever there then this is my roommates area this is my area then this is like our own private mini fridge we have obviously the proper fridge in the in the other one by the way guys rate my fridge Cody Co I know you wanna um, so yeah this is it and then we have a bunk bed my bed very nicely prepared because I knew I was gonna film my roommates bed and uh, not so nicely prepared also partly my fault because I put the tripod in there you know how it is but yeah anyways so then this is the the where we keep our clothes you know that's what humans do and uh, this is the private toilet it's beautiful as you can see it's like the same as a five uh, five star hotel we've got the toilet there with uh, which gives you private massages and stuff and this is the shower it has uh, two functions interestingly so cold and hot water you can decide depending on how hot or how cold your body is I think you guys know how showers work uh, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I think that's it. Have a good, nice look.
Hello, man. 